Hey guys, this is Felix at LowParLab.com and this video is a quick demo on a project that I've been working on recently. This is a light switch that's uh, controlled by a Motino and uh, this controls a light fixture that I have here. Um, so what this is is a box, a blue box that contains a Motino, a relay and some other circuitry that provides power and I have this uh, momentary push button uh, that will uh, trigger a light on or off action and a status LED and then I have a uh, just a power cord that provides power to the blue box and then over here I have the power cord from the light fixture and uh, this is the hot that goes to that and then this is the neutral that goes back to the uh, mains neutral and uh, what happens is uh, if I plug this in, the, p the power will be turned on and the light will by default be off. And then I can uh, use the button to turn the light on or back off. Uh, the status LED will be on only when the light is off so that, uh, you know, you could see it in the dark. And uh, because there's a Motino in there, obviously I can also remotely trigger a uh, light on or off action. So for that purpose I have another Motino here which is connected to my computer and it's running a sketch that I can use to uh, remotely trigger the light uh, action. So uh, let's plug it in and see how this works. This power cord is polarized so I can only uh, plug it in one in one direction and uh, there's now power in the box, but the light is off, so uh, I can now push the button and the light will turn on. I can now push the button again and the light will turn off. And um, as long as I have this open here in the terminal, I can see that the light is uh, turning on or off. So this information is coming uh, over wirelessly through uh, the receiver Motino. So uh, I can also trigger the action from here like I was saying I can use uh, the sketches program so that I can uh, turn the light on or off just by pushing one or zero. So one would be a turn the light on then zero is turn the light off. What I'll do now is I'll tear this apart and uh, show you what's inside. All right, so I took this out of the box, and what it is, it's there's this top plate. It's a perf board, and it just provides a means to connect the rest of the circuitry to the top of the box. And it has this push button, and then the status LED, and not much else. If we turn it over, uh, what we see is this uh, switch mode. Uh, shield for Motino and it basically is just a switch mode power supply that's very compact. That was uh, one of the challenges of this project to find a very compact uh, power supply that would not overheat or be hazardous and uh, you know fit in the in the size constraints of this uh, uh, thing which has to fit in uh, one gang size box. And uh, the only thing that I could define off the shelf was this uh, recom power supply that provides 5 volts from mains and it's still fairly bulky uh, even compared to the final product so I decided to let that go and just research some more and I found something better that was uh, much smaller and uh, that's really what it is it's a shield that contains the power supply for the Motino and let me take that off and, and then we have these four terminals which are uh, actually only three of them are being used. The first one's not connected to anything and then uh, the, the other one is neutral for mains and then hot for mains. This provides the power to the supply and then uh, this is also connected to the onboard solid state relay which sits underneath the board over there. Then the other output from the relay is this hot out load 
and this can control lights or I guess anything else that uses mains. Another feature of this project is the ability to um, switch the input load with the output load such that if you install this uh, for a just a light that has just the uh, input and output loads uh, they can go either way in these two terminals and then the other one has to be neutral just because uh, it, it's needed for the supply but uh, you don't have to plug the mains input into a specific terminal between these two it could be either one because both of these are connected to the uh, SSR the solid state relay so whenever you turn the light on uh, these two terminals right here will be connected so whether this is the input or this is the input uh, doesn't matter so yeah definitely a fun project and I learned a lot and uh, I might publish more details later when I come up with uh, another version another revision as you can see this is pretty uh, rudimentary right now and I made the holes a little bit too small and I couldn't uh, use screws so I just used some wire to tie it down to this faceplate so uh, obviously I wouldn't mount that uh, as is but uh, just for testing it worked out pretty okay so thank you for watching and catch you later